Hey there, it's Rick Khan from rickkhan.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Facebook engagement app in 2022, giving you a full tutorial. And before we just quickly jump on and go through how to create the engagement campaign, it first helps to make sure, is the engagement right for you? Because using this objective, it isn't for everyone and you might be better off using a different objective such as like a conversion campaign so let's just take a quick look what is the engagement campaign you see facebook they have many multiple objectives from awareness to traffic leads app promotions and sales and conversions and the engagement objective is designed to target an audience that's more likely to engage on your ad such as your post shares reactions post saves, comments, likes, video views, or even link clicks. So the real question is, why would you want to use this objective? Well, this actually depends on your industry and what your overall strategy is, because most people use this objective for at least four different reasons, such as it helps to create social proof. When you get multiple shares, comments, and likes, and when your prospects see this, it can help create the social proof of your brand and service, and it taps into the basic human instincts to follow the same action as others, giving you more credibility trust and segueing into getting a conversion. Next, you would use the engagement objective to get data to retarget. Now, retargeting is probably one of the most powerful ways to get the best conversions because the more people see your ads and become familiar of you or your brand, it increases the chance of you getting that conversion. And people who made an interaction of your ads have the highest chance of taking the next action. And the good thing here is that when you retarget those people, your ad spend will be less. And in some cases, depending on your industry and other factors, the conversion campaign, it could still be a better choice overall. But moving on to another why you would use engagement is if your budget is low. You see, the good thing about this objective is that you can run a video view campaign or a blog post campaign for less than a few dollars. It's cheaper than most objectives and it allows for more reach. And here's the thing, when you retarget your prospects from engagement, it could be a lot cheaper to also run the conversion campaign. So say for example, you run $10 engagement campaigns, you could run less than $5 on your conversion campaign to retarget those who made the interaction and get a good result. And finally, why you would use this objective is if you're new to advertising. You see, the engagement campaign, it can be very good if you're new to advertising because as a new advertiser, Facebook will have multiple restrictions. And if you do anything wrong or Facebook just doesn't accept what you've done, then they could ban your account. That's why building trust with Facebook and warming your account up first, it can be extremely helpful in this situation. So basically from here, you should have a good idea about the engagement campaign. So a good question here now should be, what types of ad should you use when running this objective? Well, when running an engagement campaign, I like to keep everything in Facebook so that it can all be tracked for retargeting with a conversion campaign later on. And that's especially after the post iOS. So what I've found is to use the engagement for video views. Video at the moment has been the cheapest type of ad by far and has been the best for reach. And what I aim for is to build up data of people watching the video and retargeting those views at 25%. Those three second views, it's not something I care about because someone could just be scrolling, uh, Facebook automatically plays and comes on and that could be classed as a view. But someone who watched a certain length of your video, they have a better interest in what you're showing. Now, at the same time, you can also use posts that lead to a blog and you can still get very good results. But if you don't like doing video, you can use still images or even audio or go to sites like Storyblock and put together a bunch of clips. It's really easy to do and it'll give you the best return on investment for your money. So with all this said, let's jump onto my screen and I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step how to create the Facebook engagement ad. So here we are in the ads manager in example account and all you would do is press create. Now for this example, for an engagement campaign, I'm gonna choose post engagements. So you can go for your page like or event responses. For this example, I'm just gonna select an existing post 
and show you how to do that. So, and also if you want to create a post from scratch, I'll show you how to do that as well. So basically I'll click post engagement. All you do is name your campaign. So for this, I'll just call it example test. Click continue. Now I can generally leave all this alone. All I want to do is make sure the camp CBO is switched off and then just press next. So now this is the ad set level. So this is your daily budget. I always usually run daily budget. I don't really ever use the lifetime budget. I don't really have a start day. I just usually start it. What you want to do is fill in, fill in your audience. So you just put, select all your places. I do have more of a detailed video showing you how to do all this in one of my conversions videos, which I'll show, I'll link the video below so you can check that out. So you just enter in your countries, United Kingdom, United States, obviously it's whatever's suited for your targeting, you just enter it. I usually pick these as the big main four. So then what you do is enter the age group, the genders, whichever it is. And what you can do as well, if you want to add your interest in, just add them in here. If you want to target whoever you want to target. And once you do all this, like I said, there will be a more detailed video on how to do all this if you check that out. For, for now, I'm just going to quickly show you how to set this all up. So you should already have an idea of who you're targeting with your interests or if you're using lookalike audiences or you're just creating your lookalike audiences from this. And for now, I'm just going to quickly do this. Usually this has open targeting and leave them all on board just for this demonstration so it doesn't clog it up with so many creatives. So you press next, choose your Facebook page and for a new ad, what you would do is click this and then put create an ad. You'd add your media, you'd add your text, you'd put your call to action, and pretty much all you would do from there is just publish it. But for this example, I'm gonna use an existing post. So I'll just randomly pick one. So for this example, I'm just gonna use a video one. So you click it, and that's pretty much it. All you would do here is press publish. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna publish this ad here, but it's as straightforward as that. And just to recap, here's your campaign level where you just leave this all alone. Make sure CBO is off. Here's your ad set level where you make sure you put your budget in, put the uh, countries you're locating in, put the interest. If you want to leave it open, you can just leave it empty. Or if you want to add a type of interest, just put it in there, whether it be in broad or specific. And placements, I usually do use it on automatic. Press next so you get to the ad level. Add your creative or your existing post and publish it. And that's pretty much the engagement campaign done. It's really simple. It's not something you want to overthink. Get your campaign set up, set it out there. And if you want more social proof, if you want, or if you want to get uh, retarget these, I've also got a video, which I'll show you in the description below, how you can retarget any of these engagement campaigns as well. And there should be more videos you can check out, which should be showing up on the screen. And make sure to subscribe and like the video if you want more videos like this. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.